Hey, what's going on people? Pizza Lake of here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you if the Winspiro 16 Plus can deal with creating 3D images. And that's because a lot of you people ask me that question in my other videos about this laptop. So that's why I decided to make this video and show you an example how I am creating a 3D image by using Adobe Dimension. So without wasting more time, let's go straight to my screen and check this out. Inside Adobe Dimension, I have already chosen our canvas size, which is going to be 1200 by 720 pixels. And the first thing I'm gonna do is go and select a 3D model. And in our case, gonna be this laptop. I'm just gonna drag it on the screen somewhere over there like that and increase the size of it like that and move it to the right over here like that next i'm gonna go and select text again i'm gonna just drop it on the canvas and from here i'm just gonna change the text right in spiron 16 plus and change the size of it and also i uh, will change the position of the text by dragging it over here and leave it like that now we're just gonna make it smaller something like that okay change the position again pull it a little bit up and then level it up with the floor something like that and also i'm gonna move this laptop further back over here and now i'm gonna go again to the text click on it and drop it again somewhere on the canvas over here again i'm gonna change the text and increase the size of it something like that and again level it up with the floor and change the angle like that move it somewhere over here okay i'm happy with this also i'm gonna move again the laptop over there and again i'm just gonna move this tree a little bit further back that and i'm gonna hold alt and the right button of the mouse and duplicate this text so i'm gonna place it over here and change the text again to d and change the angle again like that and gonna pull it backwards change the position and increase the size of it a little bit remove the laptop again and I will leave it as it is. The next thing I will do is go to materials. And from here, I'm gonna choose one of those colors, which I'm gonna apply to our 3D text models. So I'm just gonna click on Inspiron and I'll select this material, which is cracked surface like that. And from right hand side, you can change the settings of this material. And as you can see, you can zoom very close to the 3d model and see what is happening with it and as you can see there is cracks on the text which looks really really cool just gonna zoom out and change angle of the camera and i'm gonna choose the same material for the rest of the 3d text models just gonna click on crack i'm gonna select the tree and the crack as well and i'm gonna go to images select a background by clicking on it and i just gonna change the view of the canvas something like that also i'm gonna go down to those logos and i'm gonna apply this logo to the screen of the laptop like that i'm just gonna move it and scale it a little bit make it smaller and leave it over there and that's it guys that's how we create a 3d image with inspiron 16 plus in adobe dimension and as you can see there is no problem at all um working in adobe dimension there is no lagging whatsoever and i can tell you that it's super easy and it's joy working with this laptop the last thing we have to do is just go and render the image and see how long this is going to take us 
So let's go to render. And from here, you've got three options to choose from. You've got high to slow, low to fast, and you've got medium. So if you choose high to slow, you're going to get a high quality, but you're going to get a slow rendering. If you choose low to fast, you're going to get a low quality, but fast rendering. And if you choose medium, it's going to be somewhere between high and low quality and slow to fast rendering but i always choose high to slow because you're going to get a better quality for the price of a slower rendering so let's just change the name of it i just going to write example 2 and here you can choose what kind of format you want to render it to and in my case it's png so i'm going to press render and let's see how long this is going to take us And there we go guys the image has been rendered and it took us one minute and 43 seconds for some people that might be too long for other people might be perfect but let's see what is the quality of the image so let's go and click on it and there we go guys that's the image we have created it's not the perfect image but this was just an example to show you whether you can create a 3d images with Inspiron 16 plus and the result is that you can create it without any problems so that's it for that video guys you saw that Inspiron 16 plus can deal with creating 3d images and that's an box text also if you have more questions about this laptop don't hesitate to share them in the comments down below i hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did so please hit that like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this one Thank you again and I'll see you next time.